This is video two in the creating a website series. Okay, now we've already set up the site in Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 and we've created and saved our first uh, blank file, index.html, which is a home page. But uh, so far, no structure at all uh, on the page, and that's what we're going to build right now. So let's begin by giving the page a title at the top here. Uh, on the uh, toolbar it says title and there's a little edit in field so let's put falling star design which is the site that we're going to be building here and just hit enter and uh, the title applied there and now let's give the page a little bit of a background we're going to do that with CSS styles and what we're going to do instead of embedding the styles in the document itself, we're going to create a CSS style sheet file that will store uh, the majority of our styles for the website. So if we go to Format, CSS Styles, and New, uh, and we choose as a selector type tag, uh, because we what we want to do is add a background uh, code to the body tag. So we'll choose body from in, under selector name here. Uh, if it body isn't already visible you can click on the drop down and choose it from the list. Okay, but it's already there. That's fine. Now very important to remember this step where it says rule definition choose where your rule will, will be defined. Uh, by default it's saying this document only but we want it to say new style sheet file. So when we click OK, it's going to ask us for the name of that style sheet file with the save style sheet file as dialog box. Okay. The file name I want is exclamation point dash CSS dash styles. And I can click save. And then it goes right away to the CSS rule definition for body uh, dialog here. And what I wanted to start off with is a background color so if I click on the little uh, color selector here and I go to the by the upper right hand corner to the left of the arrow there I click on the little color wheel okay I can start out with say a light gray here and make it even lighter by pulling up the uh, brightness here. See the preview is right there, right? We can go all the way from black to white, but I want just a light, light gray. Click OK. Click OK once more and you'll see this is now the background color for my document. All right. Now um, let's give the page some structure. So we're going to do that with divs and some more CSS. So we're going to start out with a, a div insert layout objects, div take. Okay. And we're going to give this one an ID of page container. Okay. Click OK there. Now you'll notice that uh, Dreamweaver shows you the div with uh, by a dotted or a dashed line, I should say and it basically stretches from left to right okay and if we uh, say shrink this area down uh, it still begins just to the left all the way to the right okay it's kind of shrinking and stretching with the document that's the default behavior for a div and they're only as tall as the content again by default as the content that they contain so Dreamweaver gives you a little bit of default content that's just a prompt for you to put content there. Content for ID page container goes here is your little prompt, right? So um, now this uh, code nav na uh, the code navigator. If you see that and it annoys you, you can uh, you can click on it and hit disable. All right. and then hit the escape key to get rid of it. But uh, let's delete this default content here. 
and style our div up a bit. So to do that, we're going to go back into format, CSS styles, okay, and we're going to click on new. Right now, under selector type, you can choose ID because that div has an ID, and under selector name, if you click on the drop down, all the IDs for elements on your page will be there. There's only one at the moment, but click on the drop down, select the one you want, and it will go in there and confirm that your rules are going into the style sheet, not onto this document only, right? And click OK. Now we're in the CSS rule definition for page container dialog box, right? This is where you can do all the visual magic uh, telling Dreamweaver what code to build. Right, so let's go to background and we're going to choose white as the background. Now if we click on apply, we can see that applied right away. Okay, um, If we go to uh, positioning, we can put in a width. So 960 is a good standard width for a modern website. Right, And um, we won't put a height because other elements that we're going to place in here will give uh, the page container its height. Different pages with different heights, right? Um, so we'll leave that part alone there. But we, if we click apply, you can see uh, it shortens up a bit, right? So now it's 960 pixels wide. Um, it's also much thinner uh, because we've taken out the text and Dreamweaver has refreshed its view of it. But let's go to um, some styles that will center this, right? We don't want it shoved over to the left like this. So first we can go to um, box here and we can uncheck margin, same for all there. And for the right margin we'll put auto and the left margin we'll put auto. Now if we click apply uh, the div centers, okay? And we can now click OK, and we have uh, the bare beginnings of a structure for the site. All right. Now, what we want to do is inside that page container, we want to add a header div, a menu div, a body div, and a footer div. Okay. So our cursors are already in there. You can see it flashing, uh, perhaps uh, on the left-hand side there. So we're going to say insert layout objects div tag, okay, we're going to go to ID and we're going to say page header, all right, we'll click OK to that. Now, um, at this point, it actually gets a little bit weird to continue adding visually, uh, you know, in the design view, uh, the divs that we, that we need because um, for example, right here, you can't even tell that there's two because one is nested right inside the other, right? So the easiest way to get all four of the divs that we want is at this point to go into code view, okay? And in code view, uh, if I separate it out a bit, I'll show you uh, within within the body, right? This is the body, opening body tag, closing body tag. Uh, between those, we have our visual content is placed. Now, so we have the opening div tag for a page container, okay, and then uh, we have the opening for page header. Now, these are nested, right? So this closing div tag slash div closes page header, and then right here, the next one is the one that closes page container, right? So you see this is the beginning of page container, that's the end in between we have the page header okay now if I click on the left of the page header line there and pull down all right uh, I can select those two lines and if I right click and copy and then go just before the closing div for page container and right click paste I'll get a copy of the page header div, right? Now, 
I need four in all, so let's do that two more times. Right click just before the closing tag and hit paste. Right click, paste. Okay. Now we don't really need four page headers. What we want is our page header and page menu. So we'll change that ID and page body. Okay. And we can go to page footer. All right. Now if we go and click on design for design view uh, we can see now we have four divs uh, the default text is just repeated there so it gets confusing so let's go back to code and let's just put in here header menu body and footer Okay. Now, at its most basic level, we have uh, a structure for our website right here, right now. Okay. Um, of course, there's lots more to do, but uh, that gets the basic fundamental uh, codes in that you need to have things laid out in uh, in the manner that we're going to build this site with a header on top, a uh, a menu underneath the header, the body of the page, and then a footer. Okay, so uh, we'll stop here for this video. In the next video, I'll show you uh, a bit more about how to fine tune this structure.